Hi, this is Paul from Elementary Technology and the Visualizer Shop, and welcome to our Customer Experience Center. We're reviewing the Elmo LX1 Visualizer. I've got the Visualizer connected to my laptop via USB, and my laptop is connected to the screen. You could connect this to any device, display device you may have at your school, such as a projector or any brand of interactive screen or non-interactive display. Elmo is a very high quality product, so you can see here I'm looking at our Visualizer guide underneath the camera. The camera is an uh, optical camera, which means that it's very, very high quality, so you don't lose image quality as you zoom in. So I'm reviewing a document, we could zoom in very, very closely onto 3D objects. It could be mini beasts or small items, whatever you'd like to look at. To demonstrate that, although we're looking here at a document underneath, I'm going to turn the head round to have a look at a document further away. Because the um, base is so solid, it's really easy to manipulate. So I can then simply operate the zoom. So I'm looking at this document further away, but this could be um, a science room or a display or an experiment area, or even uh, the students or children you know, doing some sort of activity because you can record video, which we'll show later on. So you can see it automatically focuses. So no hassle for the teacher whatsoever. Really, really powerful and the benefit of, the, of a, um, of an optical camera. Another thing that I really like about it is, because it is so well made, if I was changing the angle to look at different items, because it's so well made, I can always snap it back into place and then I can really easily get back to reviewing my document quickly and easily. Now, it comes with some really, really great tools, the interactive toolbox. So for example, what I can do, I'll show you operating it on a laptop because you might not be next to your screen, but you can operate it interactively in the same way. So what I could do here is, for example, I could create a mask so that I could say, right, students, I want to focus on these questions first and then bit by bit, I'll reveal to you your answers. So really, really simple, but a nice um, feature. I can also highlight smaller areas so I can focus them in or I could have them guess what could be the bigger image by showing small parts at a time. Um, so now we're going to look at using the interactive tools that are included with the Elmo Visualizer. So I'm going to walk over, again you could operate this from your laptop but I'm going to use it up at my touch screen. So I have the ability to annotate, so I have some inbuilt annotation tools and you can change colours. So I could highlight areas, it could be spelling, punctuation or actually put a child's work underneath and get the group to peer, mark that with each other so they can see how they can improve their work. Another really nice um, functionality built in is the ability to record video. So I'll just, I'll just um, erase my um, annotations. And what I can do now is I can simply say, I'd like to record something underneath. So you can build this as a starter or, or um, say a method. Um, so I can actually also do time-lapse recording. So if you wanted to show something that takes a long time, a plant growing or something like that, you can record it in stage and then play it all back as one um, really interesting video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start recording so I'm now recording, so if I walk over to the visualizer, this time, you know, my example could be doing, um, doing some writing, but I'm gonna say, welcome, welcome to Elementary Technologies Customer Experience Center. So I've then done some work there. I go back into the recording settings and then stop it. So now that's stopped. So what I can quickly do is jump back to my PC. And what's really nice here is it creates a folder in my documents automatically. You can change this if you like, but I'm gonna go into my picture file and within there is my Elmo interactive toolbox folder. I go into there and it's got my recordings. Now the fantastic thing here is if I play these back, I can actually put them on a loop. So what we've got here is this was what we just recorded, but I can easily, as it's just playing on Windows Media Player, I can actually put that on a loop so it could be a starter activity or a video guide that plays along um, as you go. Again, the quality of the camera, you can see how quick the recording is. The frame rate is exceptional. So a really good unit for using education. In that instance, I've used um, a video, but I can easily save uh, still images as well to go back and review work. Overall, a really good um, visualizer and one we would recommend to schools.